What's up, guys? It is our first November review. First November ever, right? Like, we started... Didn't we start this... Um, By the way, look how shitty and dreary. Ugh, God. Absolutely terrible. It's just the beginning of a four or five month stretch of shit weather and just dreadful shit fucking looking skies and empty trees. I hate it. And to make matters worse, this is the weekend that we um, do the whole clock thing, which to me is just absolutely absurd that we still do that. Someone tell me the reason why we still do that. I know it was something for the farmers back in the day, right? Why do we still do it? It's stupid. It's dumb. Um, so we need to we need to switch that. Like it gets dark early enough as it is. You know, I know it's the whole sunlight thing for the farmers and shit. I don't even know if that's the standard time or daylight saving. Whatever, I should just stop and redo this video. But it's stupid that we still do it. Um, but yeah, this is our first November review ever, I think. Didn't we start this right after the holidays last year? So, um, anyways, what else is going on? The World Series is over, so I'm pretty depressed about that because I really, every year I enjoy baseball more and more, and I dislike the NBA more and more. Football is always going to be football. I enjoy it. Uh, so anyways, I think I say anyways a lot, so I'll try to stop doing that too. Just a shit sleep pattern I got going right now with my shit job. Two midnights, two days. Uh, all I do is like I feel like I sleep too much and I sleep at the wrong time of the day. And I'm awake all night and I watched a scary movie last night. And I, um, I always wondered why people used to say I almost peed myself. I don't. There was a part in the movie where I, I felt like I lost control of my um, my dick, and I, I and I, I think I. I think a little came out. I was so scared. Fucking terrible. I was watching Insidious. Kidding me? Uh, from the first 15 seconds of that movie, the first th maybe 30 seconds, I had to stop and pause it and um, regroup because there was a part I knew some shit was happening and it scared the fuck out of me. So... Like an idiot, I kept watching it because I'm wide awake. It's dark out. I mean, I just... Uh, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I suck at watching scary movies, but I can't help it. So, uh, what else? Yeah, the World Series is done. Uh, it was good, not great. We had some amazing games and some just blah games, like Game 7 and Game 1. Uh, so, that's my take on that. But, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, I guess that's it. Let me get into the reviews here. Sinatra versus Timberlake. Um, I've never heard either one of those songs in its entirety until today. Um, I've always heard that Sinatra like clips and shit in movies, and I thought it was great. And I thought this performance was really good. It's fantastic, actually. Um, going up against a video, though, it's hard to um kind of compare those two. Uh, Timberlake, obviously, that was what two two thousand eight ish about then, and so much more going in the video than. But you know, sometimes simple is better. But uh, Sinatra was he like 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 the coolest dude to ever live? I mean, that guy just uh, good looking dude, great voice, just his demeanor is just like cool as shit. Like I, I think he's great, and uh, same thing with Timberlake. I mean, that guy is just effortless. Whatever he does is seems like it's easy to him. I know he's a great golfer now. He's an amazing singer, a good dancer. He's act. He acts like man. Like how much money do you think he has? He's amazing, and he's doing the halftime Super Bowl show this year. How great is that going to be? He is going to tear it up. He's got so much material to go with. He's high energy. I think he's going to be amazing at halftime. So there's that. Uh, who am I picking in this video? Again, there's not much to say about the Sinatra one, except it's just simple and cool. And you go back to that was probably, what, the 50s or 60s, I'm guessing? Probably the 60s. Um, just a simpler time in life, obviously. 
show up and watch Sinatra sing, sing his ass off. He's great. Timberlake, the video is obviously better. Uh, I never knew Jay-Z was in that. I really didn't know that. Um, I don't think that was a great Jay-Z part. Not bad, but not great. Uh, I like what he said about wearing a tuxedo for no reason. I might just show up when you guys are home, walk into mom and dad's house wearing a tuxedo. You guys are eating their, eating snacks and shit. I'll just open the door and wear a tuxedo for no reason. Probably won't, but I think it's a funny vision. Um, but yeah, the video's pretty good. There's uh, good dancing. I like the whole black and white thing, obviously. Um, but I'm picking Sinatra in this because I think it's a much better song. Again, nothing to work with. And um, I'm going to go with Sinatra, even though I think Timberlake is great. And what else? I guess that's it. Um, Timberlake is just, I don't know. He's great. Great dancer. I think I already touched on that. So I think I should wrap this up at 6.05. All right. Going out to do some laundry because I don't have a washer and dryer. So I either go to mom and dad's or I go to a laundromat. Depending on what my mood is. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I got to go do some errands. But anyways, have a good weekend, and we will talk to you next Friday with Jason's Picks. Uh, I guess that's it. Holidays are coming close, and uh, we'll see you guys in a couple of months. Not even. All right. Later.